In this session, we are discussing non-deterministic algorithm. In our deterministic algorithm, the outcome of the algorithm is fixed. We know, say in case of searching algorithm, the outcome of the algorithm will be true or false. If the item exists, then the output will be true. If the item does not exist, then the output will be false. So, if we waive this particular restriction on the output and if we can tell that outcome of a non-deterministic algorithm will be restricted to specific set of possibilities. So, specific set of possibilities means we are having some set of outputs out of them one output will be coming as outcome from such non-deterministic algorithms. So, see this particular non-deterministic algorithm problem 1 and problem 2, we will be discussing them. But, but before going for problem 1 or problem 2, let me introduce you three different functions. To specify such algorithms, we introduce three new functions. One is the choice S, arbitrarily chooses one item from the set S. S. So, from the set S, it will select one of the items arbitrarily. Failure is a function signals an unsuccessful completion, unsuccessful solution. Success obviously it will signal and successful solution or successful completion. So, now let us go for uh, problem number 1. That means, here we are going for searching algorithm, but the algorithm has been written with the non-deterministic flavor C. Searching x on A, A is nothing but an array having got subscript ranging from 1 to n, where n is greater than equal to 1. On success returns j, if a j is equal to x or returns 0 otherwise. So, that means, this is the searching algorithm, which will search x on a and a is nothing but an array having got subscript ranging from 1 to n, n is greater than equal to 1. On success returns j, if x a j is equal to x, that means the location at which the successful has been done. Otherwise, it will return 0 if unsuccessful uh, searching has taken place. We know that in, in this particular case, if you go for linear search, the complexity will be of the order of n. Okay. Now, see j is equal to choice 1 comma n. So, out of in the, in the range 1 to n, choice is returning an arbitrary value j. If a j is equal to is equal to x, then write j and success. If at the jth location, I am finding the search item x, then obviously, I shall write the value of j and as output and then I shall uh, indicate that a successful completion, successful searching has taken place. Otherwise, so here the algorithm will terminate if, it, if the condition is true, otherwise the control will come to the third line, write 0 and failure. Here you see there is no looping. So, there is no looping. So, if you go for the deterministic algorithm for this linear search, the complexity will be of the order of n because there we are having one loop which will be executing from 1 to n. But here there is no looping. So, this algorithm is having a constant time complexity that is big O of 1. So, complexity has been reduced after application of non-deterministic algorithm. But obviously, if the item is present in the in the array, then in that case, my outcome of this algorithm will be either true or false, got it or it, it, uh, it has not got it. So, that is the output it will get. If the item is existing in this particular array, then my output come will be either success or failure. That means, I am not restricting my outcome to a certain value, but I am restricting my outcome to a set of possibilities. So, now in case of problem number 2. Shorting array A, 1 colon n of positive integers in the ascending order. So, say the algorithm name is n short, that is a non deterministic short. I am passing the array name containing all the values and n, that is the number of data, and n is obviously a, a positive integers. For i is equal to 1 to n do b i is equal to 0. So, I am putting, I am initializing uh, b array with all locations with 0. For i is equal to 1 to n, so now I am searching in the main array. So, j is equal to choice 1 colon n, so the 1 comma n, that means j is returning a value in between 1 and n. If bj is not equal to 0, 
I kept this BG is equal to 0 initially, but here if we find that BG is not equal to 0, then failure otherwise BG is equal to AI. That means, I am picking up a particular value from AI location and I is ranging from 1 to n. I am putting it to, to, to the array B at the jth position where J is being initialized by calling the function choice and choice is having the limits 1 to n. So, it will return a value in between 1 to n. So, that means the array subscript uh, range and it will put that one there, but if J has got repeated if the choice returns the same j twice then in the second second time bg will not be equal to 0 why bg will not be equal to 0 because already bg has got data so in that case it will return failure otherwise the value the uh, the value picked up from a from the ith location will be kept on the array b at the jth location for i is equal to so after ending this particular loop for i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 2 if b i is greater than b i plus 1 then failure. So, if any time I find that the b i content is greater than b i plus 1 because I am supposed to arrange this items in the ascending order, but if I find such condition true for once at least then failure will be indicated. So, failure will be called. So, this algorithm will be get terminated otherwise throughout this particular loop if failure has not been called that means, this condition has not been uh, true for uh, for at least once. So, it is not true then in that case I shall print my array content because it has got shorted and success will indicate the successful termination of the algorithm. So, here you see in our shorting algorithm the complexities are n log of n of the order of n square, but here you see we are having a single for loop I might be having multiple for loop that is not an issue but a single for loop is there, there is no nesting, there is no nesting of for loops. So, there is no nesting, only single for loops are there. So, obviously, so this for loop is not nested here, this for loop is a separate one, this is a separate for loop. So, that is why the complexity of this particular algorithm will be of the order of n. So, from the complexity of the order of n log of n or from the complexity of the order of n square, after application of the non-deterministic algorithm the complexity has been reduced to of the order of n. So, that is why to reduce the complexity we can apply this non-deterministic algorithm. So, in case of NP complete problems, so those algorithms are having non-polynomial time complexity, but if we apply non-deterministic al uh, algorithm on them to solve the problem then their complexity might get reduced and it can come to a polynomial time algorithm. So, that is why we have, we, have, we have discussed this non-deterministic algorithm. So, I think you are getting this idea how this non-deterministic algorithm can reduce the complexity of an algorithm. So, thanks for watching this video.